So in this video, I'm gonna answer the question I get all the time. How do I clean? How do I maintain? What do I do to get a really nice smooth plunge on a plunge router? And I'll go over a couple other tips and tricks on maintaining your routers. So if you really think about it, the Domino, whether the 500 or the 700, the XL version, you always want to have a nice, smooth plunging action. So in an earlier video, we did a maintenance on the Domino and I showed you how to clean the rods and I'll show you how to lubricate the rods because it's, you want it to plunge effortless into that material. So now I'm gonna show you how to maintain uh, the plunge rods on your routers. Okay, so one of the first things I like to do is I like to make sure, and come in here, Chris, so we can see this. You see, this is the collar, and this is what holds the bit into the router motor. And what I do is I, I kind of eyeball it, and I want to make sure, and I take an old toothbrush, and I clean the threads on there. Okay, but I also clean out sometimes these, which bites down as I tighten this, sometimes get clogged with certain materials, so I make sure that's all clean. I like using a, a to old toothbrush and just clean it out. You can see it coming out now. All right, then what I do is I take a machine oil. I, you know I like to use this stuff. It's called uh, PG2000. Uh, we'll probably have a link for it on the, at the, on the end of the video, but I like to take just a little light machine oil and put it on there. It just helps out and see it actually cleans it a little bit. So that's the first thing I do to the router. Okay, so the router rods are right here, right? And the bushings are up inside with the bearings that hold it in place. I always check to see if it's smooth. If it's not, as I inspect it, I also check to see if there's any uh, corrosion here, oxidation, whatever you want to call it, rust. What I'll do is I want to keep it easy and I want to keep it stationary. I'll lock it in like this and then I'll cut strips of Scotch-Brite and I'll clean it like this. And you'll see how this really starts to become shiny as I do this. I'll get the depth stop rod out of the way, whoopsie, just like this. And it'll come right, almost brand new, just like this. I can flip it around, just like this, and do this one. Over time, if you don't use your router, you'll get some corrosion here. Depends if you have a dehumidifier or what climate you live in. High humidity places, this is notorious to get a little bit of corrosion on there. Okay, so we have that and then what I'll do is I'll just take a paper towel and I'll wipe off any excess. See? Any access there. Just like that, nice and shiny. I've even done this on my slide compound miter saw uh, to give it, a, make it a little bit smoother. Okay, so that's really smooth right now. But what I like to do, and a little is a lot with this product. You can use any three-in-one oil, but you notice I just don't spray it on there. I take it and I rub it on, just like when we did the domino, okay? Because basically the domino is a plunge router, but kind of spinning at the same rate, uh, same RPM, but I'll take that and I'll put that on there. I do this as needed. Sometimes it's, I do a, a maintenance day once, a, once every six months or a year sometimes, depending. But my goodness, is that smooth. So, take the time, maybe it's raining out, it's cold out, take the day, do some maintenance on your routers, and just make sure they're plunging smooth. Hey, be positive, stay sharp.